Say good morning. Say dada. Dada. Say mama. Dada. Mama. Dada. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So it is currently. Oh, I look rough. I've been up since like 4 a.m. It is currently maybe about 9 o'clock. Sorry if I'm talking a little weird. I have a retainer. If you don't know, I had braces in uh, back in, I think it was like 2016. Ever since I had my permanent retainers went bad, yada, yada, yada. Finally got a removable retainer and now I talk with a slur. I only got the top retainer in. So this one's supposed to shift the teeth, so I kind of got some gaps. But y'all see her hair is, her hair is still lasting. It's just like two or three days later, and it still look good. But whenever I refresh it, I'm gonna try to get more of that out of her hair. <laughs> Noah, you touch her hair? Don't pull it too hard. On today's agenda, it's planned to organize this house, so. If you don't know about time seeing this, we have been DIYing our floors. Um, so stuff is kind of like misplaced. It's not where it really should be. I have to reorganize all the baby's clothes, get rid of uh, the ones that are too small, figure out what I'm going to do with those, kind of figure out what they can fit, figure out what's too big for Noel. So I have like kind of a situation going that i'll show you what it looks like in a minute well not in a minute but eventually throughout this vlog but if you look at my living room now it is a hot 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 mess the floors are a thousand times better now that we moved the carpet out but the problem is it's stuff all over the place so 
the thing is, we need to get life together. This can't be a thing every day. She can't really play in the room and have a lot of stuff in the room because I'm trying to organize her clothes, like I said. So, really going to figure out how I can try to get in Noelle's, not Noelle's, get in Nala playtime in as well as her study. I don't know how that's going to work out. Her eating and then all that by 11 o'clock. And then if I can get some cleaning in the room itself as well as the room where we finally put the computer at so it's a lot going on the girls had a pretty good night we are trying to transition this little girl what are you doing she hungry usually i feed her immediately so let's do that while i talk <laughs> yeah let's eat we are trying to convert her into a converted swaddle because we think that she's going to be rolling over soon. Because she's starting to roll to her side a lot. And y'all know at this point how my anxiety is. It's that time where it's just going to be at its peak. So I'm not excited, but I need to try to start getting down. Hey baby, I need to start homing in on the tummy time so that she can start to learn how to hold her head up as well as try to roll him back over. So I want to try to get some exercises in on that. So usually at this time we're just watching TV, eating, Nala is roaming around, do whatever she wants to do until it is breakfast time. <laughs> Are you sure, Bear? I can do this, Frog. We have to help Kangaroo. Okay, you can go too, Dog. Come on. Why don't we just cross the table with all the But we're gonna need a lot of cans of frosting for that. Hi. Say good evening. There you go, David over there with baby girl. <laughs> so today has been one of our more adventurous days, so to speak. I wanted to apologize for how the video ended for the other day, I don't even remember exactly what day, but it was like a few days ago. And I don't even remember where I last left off. I just know I didn't finish that vlog. I know I got kind of got <laughs> caught up with the girls and was kind of like, by the time I remembered, it was kind of like dead. So today we have kind of went out moseying around. And we ended up getting some, another toy for Nala for, um, off of marketplace and I really am trying to figure out ways to keep her entertained y'all know the reasons why at this point but the other day I don't know you guys seen it and I guess she just pulled this out but we had end up adding to this little space let me back up as you can see she kind of pulled everything out but we ended up adding the little carpet to this area adding the little toy organizer because now she got all these little knickknacks and things like that. By the way, we ended up getting her a new like little kitchen set that came with like food and stuff like that. So I guess she discovered how to pull it off of here. So that's what she did. But I know some of you probably thinking like, why would you add this to this area? And she has a whole room. That's because it's not really functional right now. It has a crib in there that we haven't really figured out how we're gonna handle it. And plus it has a huge tunnel in there. I would show you that, what it looks like, but it's just crazy right now. Now it's just pulling stuff out of everywhere. So because of that, I searched high and low between Amazon, eBay, and Marketplace for something that she can throw her stuff in. Y'all recently seen the video where we took down <laughs> So we gotta try to work through the screens right now. It's just life right now. She is talking. Look at her. Noelle. Noelle. 
What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? No, Ellie, Ellie. <laughs> She's trying to hear her voice. She's been doing this for the last like two hours. It's crazy. <laughs> Me and Rob over here. Minding her own business. But yeah, anywho. So if you remember from a couple videos back, we had posted about the baby gate. With the baby gate, we had removed her old playpen and you remember that little clip where she was just throwing stuff all in the little baby pen? We don't need another situation like that. So I decided to get her something else. But before I show you what that something else is, let me show you what's going on with this baby gate. I know it's kind of dark. Matter of fact, I can turn on light. It's kind of dark, but we have a situation. If you can't tell, there's like a bend right here. The gate is kind of broken. So it's supposed to be like this. But it's not, it won't stay like that no more. I don't know why. It's still working, but it just, I had to order a new gate. They're way over there in that little corner but I had to order two gates because this one messed up too as well. I don't know what's up with the gate, but I have to return it within 30 days. But outside of that, the one thing that I end up finding on Marketplace that I feel like is a little gold mine, and I can't wait to show Nala, is this little shopping cart from Melissa and Doug. Um, on Amazon, they were selling this for like 70 bucks. And I was just like, I rebuke and bind in the name. You know, I wasn't going to pay that much. So I found someone who was willing to sell me this for 35 bucks. So I ended up choosing this one because it was a metal cart. It was heavy duty. I didn't want her to start pushing something that could fall over once she started pushing it. So I did some research and I came across this. And I'm so glad that she was able to give this to me for that amount of money. And on top of that, she ended up giving me these two little baby versions of the same cart. Let's see how she likes it. Come on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Look at her. <laughs> a little ski. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> Come in and bring it. Look at this. <laughs> She started pushing our, um, that's not how you push a cart, baby. You hold on to this. Look, hold on to this. Push it. That's right. You got like grocery shopping? <laughs> and another thing I found about this that someone said was their baby was like autistic. And they use this to help the baby walk versus a walker. And this seemed to help out a lot more. And I can see why, because it's it's more heavyweight, it's metal. Metal, that, I'm realizing every day there's words I can't say properly. Metal, <laughs> it's not like I'm saying metal. Metal, she can pull it around, it seems easy to push. I don't really know what these extra little legs for, but I'm guessing to help the weight of it, I'm not really sure. Wait, wait a minute. You gonna throw something in there? Yeah, you put that thing in there, girl. So I'm hoping this gives her a little bit of some entertainment. By the way, she does still use this. Not all the time, but she have like the light probably out of most things. So I am going to get Nala's foods ready and probably do a little bit of organizing the room is still very trash i'll show you the situation once again on what's going on what needs to be organized so again there are clothes everywhere this is organized mess so all this clothes on the floor is knowledge all the stuff that's on the bed is nowhere else so there is some rhyme and reason i do plan on going through back of these sections just to cross check myself before i put them up but these are like the oversized stuff she can't fit yet this is everything she can fit that is just the pants this is the tops 
these are like the stuff that she can no longer fit that I need to get rid of and that is just like socks and things like that and there was like a bib container I don't know where it is and then I still have a full thing inside of here that is still needs to be put somewhere uh, in one of these piles so.